I'm just saying, man, police brutality got to be dealt with at some point. OK, OK, fuck us, huh? Fuck the people who stay up all night to protect y'all while you're asleep. Huh? Dude, fuck us right up in the ass. That's, that, is that what you're saying? You know damn well that's not what I'm saying. And I, I, I need you to acknowledge that like right now. The only thing that I'm acknowledging is that you motherfuckers are being ungrateful. Acting like we don't put on for our city and shit. I'm not saying that all police need to be punished. So, 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 so what you talking about? What? You, let me sit down real quick. What, what you talking about? I'm just saying that the police attacking the people that they are sworn to protect. I just, that some we need to do something about that. <laughs> well, if you motherfuckers would follow the rules, then we wouldn't have to step out of character. Motherfucker, don't nobody control what the hell you do. Nobody can make you do any fucking thing. Just because you see somebody breaking the rules, that don't mean you crack them upside the dome. You people are constables. You people get paid to see where the trouble is, find who's breaking the rules, put them in bracelets, throw them in the paddy wagon, and send them to the station. That's it. Some of these police be fearing for their life because freaking citizens out here be on some fuck shit. Now, see, two things can be right at the same time. What you said is completely valid, you know, occupational hazard and all that. But we now know that a lot of police be putting themselves in situations that they shouldn't be in, you know, out of boredom. Mainly in the South. Blue lives matter. And what is saying that supposed to do? Exactly. What do you think? You a fucking smurf? Not all police officers dress up in blue. So who who the hell are you really talking about right now?